There you go. Have some good come from Dirty Friday. Until we ream them over the coals here. <laughs> Hello? Good morning. Are uh, you selling a car, paper? Yeah. You selling a car? Uh huh. What kind of car? 91 Honda Payload? Yes. How many you want for that car? Um. I don't know. I think it's 13. 13,000. I, I give you an 85. Pardon? I give you 8,500. No. What do you mean? How, what car is it? Pardon? What car is a car? Black. A black car? Oh, yeah, I'll give you 8000 Okay. You take 8000 for the car? Yeah. I'll be way over for that car. Pardon? I'll be way over for it. Okay. Okay. Uh, how many miles on it? Um, 32,000. 32,000 miles? Uh-huh. Well, that's not a good car. I'll be way over. Okay. Oh, what's your address? Um... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not going to sell it to you. Well, you that. just told me you will sell the car. <laughs> I what know. You, what you laughing at? Pardon? What you, how you laugh? Why are you laugh? I'm at um, 445 Golf Drive. Well, I'll tell you what. Maybe I'll head over there. This is Lamont and Tonelli from 92.3 KSJO. Your husband set you up on Dirty Friday. I can't believe he did that. Christina, your husband Jim said to give you a call this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Do you have anything to say to Jim? Um, not really. <laughs> no. no hey, Chris, I love him. Christina, have you, have you had a tough time selling this car? Really tough. Well, I'll tell you what. You want to give your number out on the... I'll give you a free ad on the radio. Great. Okay, what number should someone call if they want to buy it? 408. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. 729-0508. Uh -huh. if, if you wanted to screw with your husband, you should give his work number. <laughs> <laughs> True. There you go. Now, this is a 91 Prelude. It's black. You have 32,000 miles on it. Right. And it's in great shape. With an alarm. There you, oh, see, there you go. You're getting calls already. <laughs> Maybe we'll get this thing sold for I you. I hope they're not Asian, though. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh, no. Now, hold on now. Don't hold on the line. Okay. Christina, have, a, have a good weekend. Hold okay. on. It's 744. <laughs> And a, uh, a wet weekend ahead, according to meteorologist Mike. Hi, it's Mike. Uh, good morning. Uh, uh, is it Yikes. Is that his work number? Or are you having problems with the KSJO phone system once again? I think I'm having problems with the gas. <laughs> Boy, what a surprise. Now, hold on here. According to, <laughs> according to the notes yes. that Brew gave me, this is supposed to be Jason's number. <laughs> and is that any way to talk to a guy when you call him? Oh, man. Just because we had the wrong phone number, sounds like a mini ballistic. Let me try this now. All right. Again. There we go. All right. It's the number to call. Come on, Jason. From 880, at least out of the toll plazas. And partially across the San Mateo Bridge, all the, the result of an earlier stalled big rig, which tied up traffic for a while. Well, that's what happens. I'll give it two more rings here. I will say this, so that's what happens when you... Uh... Yeah, this would have been a great sting. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been a great sting. We go a long way for a joke here. Happy holidays. Good morning. Is uh, Elizabeth, uh, please? This is she. Who's this, please? Hi, this is uh, Dick Scrotum calling from the uh, hotel. And oh, hi. hi. Hi, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. I'm calling in regards to the hotel reservations that you have for the, uh, is it a Christmas party? 
You've booked our banquet facilities? Yeah, everyone's really excited for it. Well, you know, Elizabeth, I've got some bad news here. Uh, we have uh, experienced such a rush on our bookings for our uh, facilities that yeah. we, we inadvertently overbooked our room. you got to be kidding me. No, ma'am. And um, we've had a bit of a problem with the plumbing here. And as a result, with the plumbing problems and the overbooking, we won't be able to accommodate your party for next weekend. But it's less than a week. Why are you telling me this now? Well, Matt, How long have you known Matt, this? Matt, Matt, we, we had the pro plumbing problems two days ago. Right. And we thought we'd be able to solve the pl plumbing problems away and we'd have a cleanup in time. I mean, like, how can I change plans in less than a week? The invites are out. I emailed everyone. Everyone's really, really excited. There's well, nothing. I, I can't do anything now. Well, Elizabeth, I, I can appreciate that. However... I mean, I made my booking with you guys. I heard about your reputation. You're supposed to be very good. Well, we are, we are very good, and I appreciate that, but we, that's the thing. We don't I mean, want to put on a party. To honor my we, we, don't, we don't want to cram a party in there right. with, and, and basically destroy our reputation. If it's not up to snuff, we can't do it. We have the, the plumbing problem. There's turds floating all over one of our banquet right, right, facilities. Right, right, right. Now, you know, if, if, if you were up to snuff, you should be able to put something together. Excuse me? If you're up to snuff, you should be able to put something together in a week and find you another know, I don't facility. Have time for this. I do not have time for this. Well, ma'am, ma 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 the, the, the crux of the matter is we do not well, have gonna, a I'm room available. Conversation. We don't have a room available for you. The next time you're going to hear from me is when you speak to my lawyer. No, no, ma'am, ma'am, before you get... <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> now, Elizabeth, you're not going to get too far in the new job having a huffy <laughs> attitude like that. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> 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 She, uh, <laughs> well, we'll give her a call back. And <laughs> she was, I thought she was kind of unreasonable. <laughs> At least until you insulted her. <laughs> this is Elizabeth. Good morning, Elizabeth. Yeah. Hi, Elizabeth. Uh, Dick Scrum calling again from the... Hotel. Right, right, right. I'm calling in regards to uh, the, uh, the conversation we had a few moments ago. And I'm a little disturbed. I, I didn't want to make you angry. And well, you did. I, well, I know, and I understand that, that this is putting you in a situation, canceling your Christmas Look, party at the what, last what's minute. Up, yeah. and, and I don't want you to go away with, with, a, with a bad feelings about our hotel, because as you mentioned earlier on, we do have a great reputation. And what I, what I think I found a solution to this, where you're able to have the party at our hotel next weekend. All right. Okay. Under what circumstances? Well, we, we will actually we'll upgrade you from the room that you were supposed to have into the grand ballroom. Sounds good. All right. Okay. You can work with that. However, you'll have to share the grand ballroom with another party. And we've done this before, and it actually works. And, you, like, you'd be on one side of the grand ballroom. They would be on the other. It's such a big room, you'll barely even see these people. All right, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Now, now the, we have a meeting of the, uh, the Rooster Farmers of America... That and, same weekend? Yeah, well, yes, that, that's what you'd be sharing the room with. And would you be with against... The what? The Rooster Farmers of America, would you be against sharing the space with a bunch of cock lovers all night? Because I don't think, I don't think the, 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 they would keep you up all night. What do you talk? I don't think... What, uh, what, what, do you think you'd be adverse to that, ma'am? No. Well, we're, we're happy to hear that because, Elizabeth... What? It's Lamont and Tonelli on 92 KSJO. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. <laughs> Your father said to give you a call. Oh, this is from Dad from back at the bay. And, uh, yes. yeah, that's right. We're back oh. in the bay. And, and, uh, <laughs> at, at least, at least your dad knows you wouldn't mind sharing a room with a uh, room full of cocks all night. I know. I was like, what? Is <laughs> Elizabeth, okay. you hold on. We have a little something for you from back home, okay? A little something. Then get a big something. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you got a room with cock lovers all night, you would. <laughs> Thanks for going on the air, Elizabeth. Hold on the line. We got a little something for you. Oh, man. <laughs> I think she was kind of confused. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, would you mind sharing the room? Well, no. <laughs> it all night. <laughs> it's a dick shrinkage, dirty Friday. Get your call oh, in at 575-KSJO. Oh, it sure is. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Dave, please. And this is he? Hi, Dave. How are you this morning? All right. How are you? Good. Uh, this is uh, Richard Shrinkage calling from the uh, Santa Clara court and i'm calling in regards to a uh, a license you filled out for uh, for marriage 
Right, right, yeah. Uh, okay. You know, you know, I'm, I'm afraid, Dave, that we're going to have to revoke the license that we issued. Revoke it? Yes, uh, yes, sir. It uh, wait, I'm it getting married this weekend. How come? Well, it seems that the uh, the county health department has uh, a red flag came up after you uh, you completed your blood test, and it's a minor problem has surfaced over your blood type. The, what do you mean? Something well, wrong? yeah, it's it seems that you have a, um, a a minor minor flaw in your blood. Uh, you you've contracted analitis in in your blood. What? Analitis. What causes what causes analitis? Well, well, sir, it, it seems it's a um, it's a um, it's a minor flaw that is caused by someone who partakes in too much anal sex, and it's a, it's an infection that uh, has surfaced in your blood, and and naturally, sir, with this with your blood type, and we, we can't have you, we can't have a marriage, a union with you and your bride. Well, wait a second. First of all, I don't either give or receive what you just mentioned, so that's. Um well, well, wait, sir, wait. it's definitely shown up in your blood. Can, can I get this from another person? Well, uh, sir, I, I think, wh wh why do you ask? Well, uh, at my bachelor party, um, I was, I was on the floor and the stripper kind of, you know, sat down on my, and, uh, I might have, like, licked her. Um, Dave? Yeah. You, and, you, and you feel that you may have contracted this earlier on this week or last week when this happened? Well, yeah, it was last week. I mean, I, that, mean, I don't know. That would know. explain I mean, why it's so fresh. Because I, Dave, Dave? Dave? Yeah. And, and, you, and what would your mother think of this? My mother? What does she have to do with this? Your mother's Helen? Is that correct? Yeah. Dave, it's Lamont and Tonelli on 92 KSJ. It's Dirty Friday. You're on the air, bro. Holy. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. Your mother said you to give you a call. Holy sh... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Holy sh... <laughs> Stripper. <laughs> I think that was the problem. He found the holy part. <laughs> wow. Well, Dave, you have a good wedding. I know your reception is going to be a lot of fun now. I think Helen maybe learned a little bit more than she expected to about her son before his marriage. I just hope his bride didn't hear it. <laughs> Thank you for coming here. Hi, I'm looking for Tom. He's... Okay, one moment. Thank you. Nice tape. <laughs> Listen to that. <laughs> you know what? We may have to get into the holiday spirit a little bit later on this morning. Yeah. Play one of our own Christmas songs. Absolutely. Randy... That'd be better than this. Randy Snapper. Randy Snapper. <laughs> Randy Kirk, the big snapper. <laughs> Randy Snapper. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tom. Yep. Hi, Tom. How are you? This is Officer uh, Schultz calling from the uh, police. And Good I'm, call I'm calling in regards to your BMW. Yes, sir. Uh, it, it it arrived at our um, at our precinct earlier on, yep. and uh, I I just want to say that that we refuse to release your car. Uh, okay. I, I thought uh, Apco was going to get the car released to them. No, no, sir. We we had an application here, and now this car has been auctioned off. Is that correct? I, I, apparently it had been, yes. Well, well, how did we end up with this car again? I think AFCO had, was fighting the, uh, the sale of the car, and that the car was going to be released to them, and then they're going to sell it. Well, according to our records, it was auctioned off in Martinez, from what I see here. I thought it was Napa. That's what they told me. It was Napa, and yeah. then and then I'm, just, I'm going through the paperwork that I'm looking at here. Right. Napa, uh, Martinez, and then Napa. And then it went back to Martinez, and now it's back in our, in our lap. Oh, wow. Have you dealt, have you talked to the people over at AFCO? Because uh, obviously I'm not getting the car back. No, sir. Now, 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 who is Robbie? Robbie? Yeah, we have something here with AVCO, and the car is eventually going to end up in, in, is it Mr. <laughs> is that correct? Who is this? Excuse me? I said, who is this? This is Officer Schultz calling. Oh, okay. 
Now, now, sir, why is it why is it back in why is it back at our place? Oh, they're screaming already. They're tipping them off. Hey, you know, it's Lamont and Tonelli on KSJO, Tom. Hello. <laughs> You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. Tom. Hey, Tom. Are those you dual with saying who was Robbie. Uh, <laughs> now, now, what is the deal with Robbie? Yeah. Who, uh, yeah, they got me. Tom. Oh, yeah, they got me. <laughs> Tom. I'm glad I switched to decap this morning. <laughs> hey, Tom, who is, who is Robbie? Who is Robbie? And Robbie? Why was that a dead giveaway? <laughs> they're all laughing at him at work. <laughs> Well, I recognize his voice. I thought oh. this guy sounds like the guy on the radio. That's how they got me. Tom, Tom, yeah. congratulations on getting your car back. I don't know how you did it, but you did it. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> hold, hold on the line. Sully's got a little something for you. Hey, that, that, right. Tom, who the hell is Robbie? That's my roommate. And, and why were you suspicious when his name was brought up? Well, just because uh, Pleasant Hill wouldn't know uh, <laughs> that he's involved. Yeah, but, but Mike and the boys in the service department oh, would. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, said, get, they said to sting you this morning on Dirty Friday. They got me. Well, because the car is supposed to come back today. So oh, like, <laughs> there you go. All right, Tom, hold on. Sully's got a little something for you, okay? All right, guys, have a good weekend. Okay, right. you too. 729, Lamont, and make and sure you Dirty listen Friday. to our DUI show every <laughs> year. You know what the thing is? We're halfway through the call, and they're, they're la they run into the office screaming. <laughs> I know, and the thing, he was hook, line, and sinker <laughs> yeah. for the first half of the call. Uh -huh. And then uh, Mike, who set up Tom, said, you got to mention his roommate, Robbie, is going to oh, be getting the car, and then we that was a dead though. giveaway. We got him. Oh, and even Tom's out. Oh, yeah, you got me. <laughs> oh, George wants Back to sting his wife, Marie. This is oh. great. Okay. <laughs> so we're calling Marie. Yeah. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Mr. or Mrs. Please. Oh, this is Mrs. Schultz. Hi. How are you this morning? Uh, is this Marie? Yes, it is. Hi, Marie. Tom calling from Blockbuster Video. And uh, we've got a bit of a problem here. Uh, the movie you rented, Titanic? Mm-hmm. Um, it was returned, but the there... The, the actual Titanic movie wasn't in the case. And oh. there, there was another film inside the case. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, we, they, we had a mix-up here about that. I'm very sorry. We, we have the actual tape. So you, you have Titanic at your home? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you, you put a porno in, in the case and dropped it in our mail slot. We, we we did put we put another tape in there. I'm not sure what it would have been. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it looks like like a, a cheap cheap ass porno that you have here. Oh. I see. Is this a, like something? It looks like a homemade job or something. It's I'll tell you what. Whoever whoever you bought this tape from, this is like one of the worst ones I've ever seen. The uh, all the guys at work have been watching it since uh, yesterday afternoon. And uh, really? there's some real saggy tits on the gal in this video. Oh, I see. So now, Marie, when do you when do you think we can get Titanic back? Um, I could bring that by um, later tonight. Later tonight? Mm -hmm. Okay, that'd be great because we have a waiting list for uh, for movies here, and that's one of our more popular rentals. <laughs> you know, I've got to tell you, the video that you sent in is probably one of the cheesiest looking pornos I've ever seen. Really? Yeah. Who's the, uh, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, the, uh, the couple, some of the things they're doing in here is just amazing, but look at the fat ass in one of the gals here. You know, what did you say that your name was? My name's Tom. Tom, I am finding your attitude incredibly unprofessional. Excuse me? Yes. Well, you hold it, you're, you're the that one. Is a, that is a private tape. What do you mean it's a private tape? What do you mean it's a private tape? What do you mean it's a store has been watching that? Well, just just us workers. We haven't put on like on the uh, the store thing. Oh, we can't thank do that. You so much for that. That is a private tape that my husband and I made Hold a, a very personal moment. That's you in the in the and video? Huh. I don't need your nice cottage comments cheese. about my video. No, no, could no. you just turn it off Marie? and put it away? Marie? And someone will be there to pick it up. Later tonight, or Marie, maybe we'll ask you to put it in the mail. Marie, Marie, before before you get too bent out of shape here, and although by, by judging by some of these positions, that's not too tough for you. Mar Marie, before you get bent out of shape, let me just say it's Lamont and Tonelli calling from KSJO Radio. You're on the air. Your husband, George, sets you up. It's Dirty Friday. And you know uh -oh, what? I knew uh -oh, we were in trouble. Oh, no. I knew we were in trouble with no delay. <laughs> Marie, you still there? Marie, now watch your language, Marie.
Oh, Marie, Marie, God, Marie let, me just say, let, me, let me just let me just say, your husband George said you had a personal collection of tapes between you and him. They were very personal. He the, he didn't send the tape into blockbusters no. like he told you earlier on this week. Oh, he actually has the tape God. in his car. He just wanted to dick with you on Dirty Friday. It was all part of his elaborate setup to dick with you today. <laughs> well. I've got how many hours until he gets home tonight to cook up something in return? By, by the way, you better watch your mouth because he said he'd send us the tape. <laughs> what? We're just joking, Marie. <laughs> Hold on the line, okay? Well, we got a little something for you. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> She's not happy. So only, yeah. You may have to take care of her with a little something, okay? <laughs> She's not happy. People Give around the... here aren't happy that the sensor is gone. <laughs> hey, it's not our fault. We come in here and do our job. Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for Sarah. Please. Oh, I'm Sarah. Hi, Sarah. How are you? I'm calling from uh, DCI uh, la Laboratory. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, and I'm calling in regards to a product that you used that uh, we have a recall on. Oh, what, oh, what product would this be? Uh, now, you recently had your hair dyed at one of the salons that we, we supply our product to. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't dye my hair. No, no, ma'am. Did, did you have, like, touch-ups done or highlights or that kind of thing? See, we, we're, we're getting we're getting your record from uh, from the. Is that is that where you go? Yes, yes, yes. What oh. what's this about? Well, ma'am, ma'am, the product that we supply to the hair salon, um, what was defective, and there's a batch a shipment went out that is causing people to lose their hair. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Oh and, and 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 the reason we're calling you is we want to make sure that we're trying to check and and isolate. The product that it has gone out there that is causing this. Oh my God! I just had this done last week. That's uh, according to our records. That's oh. what's indicated. Oh my God! Now, have you noticed any hair loss whatsoever? Well, I, I guess yeah. When I've been combing my hair, it seems like like there's been you know some more hair coming out of it in the comb. Than, mm -hmm. Has it come out in chunks or anything like that, or no? No, not chunks. But it. Oh God! Well, is that going to start happening? Well, we don't know. We don't know if you have the defective hair dye. Oh, God. How, isn't there, like, a serial number on the cases or something? Well, you see, we, we, we're, we're trying to recall the whole lot shipment, and we can do the test in the labs here ourselves. But your product had been used already. Right. Oh, so we're a little God. concerned. We're hoping you're not losing your hair. Oh, oh. man. Um, oh, my God. Is there any, what can I do? I mean, I, I haven't had any burning or any... But no, it doesn't. There, there's no side effects like burning whatsoever. It's just the hair loss starts approximately a week and a half after the touch-ups are done. God, um, is there anything that can I can do? I could, you know, shampoo or, or can I get another dye on it or something? Well, the shampoo doesn't really help, but, you know, we have found that as a test, yeah. uh, certain fats will indicate on the color of the hair dye if you add fat to the hair that... Yes, that uh, it may indicate if, if you do indeed have the bad lot of hair dye. So do you have, like, mayonnaise or peanut butter handy? Uh, oh, I've got, I've got both. Yeah, you, I've got both. Can you get it? go get them, please? Uh, yeah, hold, hold on real quick. All right. Well, you're not going to make her put she was mayonnaise asking if there's any tests. or peanut butter in her hair. Oh, why not? No, I, mean, I think when she comes back. No, no, I'm just going to put a little dab on it. You can hear in the background. Yeah. And she, when she comes back, tell her she's on the air. I mean, you don't need to get her to You're put... a little dab. Okay, okay. All right, Sarah, now, now, now what do you have? The mayonnaise or the peanut butter? I, I grabbed the mayonnaise. It was the closest. I could get both, though. No, no, no. Mayonnaise is fine. All right. Okay. Now, just take take a big scoop of it. Okay. And now, where, where did you get the touch-ups? Uh, at my roots. At the, the roots. roots? Yeah. All right. Now, now, what I'd like you to do is is put a glob of that around some roots. Oh, oh, okay, oh. All right. Yeah, how am I supposed to tell? Will it tell, turn another color, or? Ha has it turned, has it turned I, another color yet? I don't know, let me go, look. Go, I have to go to a mirror, hold on. Okay. 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 Um, no, it's just, no. Well, that's a good sign, and, and I'll tell you another good sign, yeah. Sarah. You actually went ahead and did something like that. It's uh, Lamont and Tonelli calling from KSJL Radio. Oh, my God. Your boyfriend, <laughs> Bill, said to give you a call. It's Dirty Friday. Is this a joke? Yes, you're That's on the, the air. Morning. Oh, my God.
my God, I have to go to work in 20 minutes. I just put mayonnaise in my hair. <laughs> how, that, that, how, how much how, 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 how much mayonnaise did you put in your hair? I don't know, like a couple of teaspoons. I, I told him not to tell you to do that. Uh, it may not look like mayonnaise in your hair. <laughs> Roots done on, on radio? Oh, that's oh, okay, that's okay. Sarah, That's fine. You're sitting there with mayonnaise in your hair. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, Sarah, you hold on the line, okay? We got a little something for you. You have anything to say to Bill, your boyfriend? He's, he's dead. He shouldn't even come home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hold on the line, okay? Oh, man, I love Dirty Friday. Okay. That's, uh, that was beautiful. Get, you know what? Oh, get, get her a free lunch, like a pastrami sandwich or something, but hold the mayo, okay? Oh, man. <laughs> Good morning. I'm looking for Gus, please. Uh, you got him. Hi, Gus. How are you this morning? Okay. Good. Uh, Harry Shrinkage calling from the uh, from the uh, retirement benefits uh, pa plan. Uh huh. And I'm calling in regards to the uh, package that um, your your file here. Right. Uh, it, Gus, it seems that uh, you have an early retirement request. Is that correct for the end of this year? Yes, that's correct. All right, and. Um, the benefits were slated to have started in January. Yeah, they will start in January, yes. No, Gus, you see, th there's a problem here because you don't have enough years in on uh, the plan to actually get payment this uh, this January unless you go, like, on, on a half-retirement benefit package. Not enough years. Yes, sir. 32 years is not enough years? Well, sir, according, I... to, according to our records, you've only worked for us for 12 years. No, 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 no. No, oh, no, Gus, 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 give me your social security number. Five. Uh-huh. Okay, now you see, Gus, Gus, uh, according to our records, you've only worked for us for like 12 years. Well, I think you need to check your records well, there. Well, the, sir, the, the computer indicates that that's how long you've worked for us. Well, the computer's full of crap because I put 32 years into the plumbing in and with the whole intention of being able to retire and go into the early retirement. I've already made my plans. I've already committed to it, and I'm set to go. Well, sir, I understand that, that you've made your plans and everything, but I don't know what we can do here. According to what our records, with the 12-year service that you've got in... You know, I, I don't know who you are, but uh, you need to either learn how to use a computer or go back and look through the records again. Now, Gus, you're absolutely sure you've worked for 32 years. 32 years I've put into the plumbing union benefits plan with the sole intention of being able to retire early and go on. Now, now, Gus, do you have paycheck stubs that can prove this to us? You bet I do. And for all 32 years? Well, I don't know for the 32 years, but I, I'm sure I can come up with documents. And it was always our union that you sent them to? No question. The <sighs> union I've been paying through. I've been a plumber for 32 years. Uh, Gus, I've got to tell you, we've got a major problem here then because... No, you've got a major problem. I, the problem's not mine because you guys don't know how to use your computers. Well, until this can be sorted out with the holiday season coming up upon us, I don't know if we can process your claim in time for benefits in January. Well, by God... <laughs> oh, 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 man. Uh, thank God the sensor made it back in time this morning. Wow. Man, what a hot hand. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I guess he was just kind of simmering Wait. below the surface. Uh -huh. Well, we've got to give him a call back and dick with him on Dirty Friday. Hello. You know, I'm looking for a Gus. Please. Yeah, this is Gus. Hi, Gus. I'm calling once again from the union. And I'm calling in regards to our, our last conversation we had a few moments ago. Now, I did some checking. And did, before you hang up on me again, I just want to say I've done some checking. And you're, you're right. We did make a mistake in saying you only worked here 12 years. I thought you just said you made a mistake, though. Well, that, that's what I said. We made a mistake. I'm confused. Okay, Gus, we did make a mistake. You're right. You didn't work here only 12 years. Oh, oh, oh. Okay? Diddle. We were missing three more. We, according to our records, you worked here 15 years. Damn right. All right, so it's not the 32 that you're claiming. No, I have worked for 32 years. You're, you're, your computer's saying 15? Now, it's, now we've got it to 15. Now, I don't, know, I don't know what the other 17 years went, and according to our records. Well, I'll tell you, man. I don't know, what, I don't know what's the matter with your computers, but you guys are pissing me off. 
Now, now, Gus, Gus, let me tell you something. What we can do, like I said, we've got the holiday season coming up here. What we can do is start you off at the adjusted rate for 17 years starting January. We'll get our adjusters and our auditors to look at the system and your records. We'll get you in here. And if you can prove to us you do the 32 years, well, then we can adjust your payment maybe around July or August. Oh, to be able no. to ar arrange no, things. You better get your adjusters going now. Because I'm retiring full benefits in January, goddammit. Well, I don't think so, Gus. And I also think another thing, the guys that you work with said to give you a call. It's Lamont and Tanelli on 92 KSJO. It's Dirty Friday. You're on the air, bro. Who? Lamont and Tanelli on KSJO <laughs> Rock Radio. Gus. Good morning. The guys you, you work with said to get you on the radio. Oh, bastards. <laughs> Hello? Good morning. Is uh, Katie there, please? Uh, yeah, who's calling? Um, uh, this is John. Well, um, she's still in bed. Can you get her up for me? I'd like to talk to her. I'm her boyfriend. <clears throat> You're what? I'm her boyfriend. What's your name? John. Who's this? <clears throat> this is her, this is her father. Oh. Can you get her up for me? Why don't you call back at a decent hour, John? Is your name John? Yeah. Why don't you call back at a decent hour? Because Maybe it's kind of important. I want to talk to her right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's no way to treat the, uh, the person who's courting your daughter, Dale. <laughs> you know what? He's just thinking, what a young punk man. <laughs> Go and get her right now. Oh, I want to you, talk to your daughter. Why don't you call back at a decent hour? Okay, let's see. And then he didn't even respond to you before he hung up. Now, that's what I thought was hilarious. He's just kind of... <laughs> Dear old dad. He's going to answer the phone. Hello? Hello, is, is Katie there, please? Is this John? Yeah, who's this? The old man? This is her father. Hey, look, old man, can you go and pay, get her up? Uh, John? Uh-huh. Let me tell you something. Uh-huh. You call me old man one more time. Mm hmm I'm her father. She's my daughter. Well, I'm her boyfriend. I met her at San Jose Live. She was giving blow bathroom. Excuse me? I met her at San Jose Live. She was giving me a... <laughs> you can't talk to her father like that. She just wanted to sting her dad. She didn't tell you to say that she was. <laughs> it was the return of Tourette uh... boy. Fricka, fricka. <sighs> she just wanted to do a friendly sting to her father. The sensor's on the edge of his seat because you're saying that she gave blow. <laughs> <laughs> and friend of Tourette boy. Oh, man. <laughs> Good morning. Is Katie there? Um, who is this? This is John. Listen, John. Huh? I don't know who the hell you are, but uh, Katie doesn't. She's not here. Sir, sir, could you just get your big fat ass out of bed and go wake your daughter up? Hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got to tell them who we are. That was Claudia Schiffer's nickname. What, Schiffer Brains? Yeah, didn't they call her that in high school yeah, because she, she was so smart? She was very smart. Got and great grades all through high school. And, and if you got an A in school, uh -huh. I used to say that was a Schiffer. Yes. Yeah. Her nickname was uh, Schiffer Brains. Maybe he thinks I'm Claudia Schiffer's brother or something. <laughs> Okay, let's give a call back. <laughs> Dirty Friday, 575 KSJO. Now just let him know who we are. I think we've toyed with this guy long enough. Okay. I don't know what Katie's setting him up on Dirty Friday. You never know when Tourette will take me over the Oh, no. <laughs> this guy's trying to get some sleep. He's not going to answer it. I already know who this is. Hmm? How did you know who it is? 
Because you've called four times in the last, what, five minutes? Okay, now, sir, sir, look. I, I thought, don't know how you got this number. Sir, I got the number from your daughter. She gave it to me when I met her at San Jose Live. But listen, maybe we've gone off on the wrong foot. And I'd like <laughs> to apologize. Foot? Yes, sir. What do you mean, wrong foot? You accuse my daughter of something like that? That's my daughter. Well, sir, sir, I'd like to apologize for for maybe getting off on the wrong foot here and because you must have are you a single father what uh what the hell's business that of yours what well, do you mean yes i am of course i am well and that's my daughter well you know i i, I realized you must have been the uh, a single dad because no one really taught her how to douche because she's got the stinkiest <laughs> hello sir Sir? Did you say what I think you said? Sir? Is your daughter there? <laughs> Sir? <laughs> there oh. no, no. Okay, you had to know. flush yourself. I know. <laughs> the yeah. censor couldn't the censor. believe it. <laughs> censor was a little late on that one. <laughs> Not even the censor was ready for okay. Tourette Boy there. Okay. Hold on. Now let's get my call. I we're lucky that we were able to keep him on the line after you had to flush yourself. <laughs> Did you hear him? He's just like, <laughs> hello? <laughs> Are you a single parent? <laughs> oh, it's Red Boy out of control. Well, the, they wanted to Red Boy back. When we talked to the most brutal... If you don't so, stop calling sir, this number... Sir, if listen. If you don't stop calling this sir, number, I'm going to... Uh, well, sir? I'll find out who sir, you Dale, are. Dale, Dale, before you get all bent out of shape, let me tell you something. This is Lamont and Tonelli calling from 92.3 KSJL. You're on the air... It's Dirty Friday. Your daughter, your daughter Kate, sets you up for this. Lamont and who? Lamont and Tonelli on Cast Jail. You're on the air. It's 92.3. I'm on the radio? Yes, your daughter Kate sets you up for this. You talked about my daughter Kate on the radio? Yeah, your daughter Kate said to give you a call this morning. Good morning. Damn. So this is... <laughs> So, Sully, I'm not sure he knew exactly what was going on <laughs> no. when we called Dave on Dirty Friday. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Dana. Ed, please. This is she. Hi, Dana. How are you this morning? Uh, this is uh, John Forskin calling from the uh, uh, Fisher Entertainment. Uh-huh. I'm calling in regards to a, a resume that popped up on our desk this morning for future employment. Okay. Uh, it was forwarded to us by your uh, temporary employment agency. Great. Uh-huh. And uh, looking at your uh, resume, I see, I think you're perfectly suited for a number of positions that we have here at uh, the entertainment company. Now, um, I take it, according to your resume, you've done telephone solicitation before? Yes, yes. Um, I'm very good at it. I've done it for many, many years. Okay. And would you mind, would you mind doing uh, inside sales for our company at all? Uh, no. Uh, what, what do you say the name of your company is again? Uh, we're Fisher uh, Fisher Foreskin Entertainment. Okay. And, and what do you all... I've never heard of your company. What, what do you uh, all uh, do? Well, we have uh, a number of entertainment enterprises that, uh, that we sell, and to go into a long list of them would just... Uh, it would take uh, too long. I I've got to ask you something. Uh -huh. And you say you've done telephone solicitation for many years. Uh-huh. Would you mind doing a sample or a demonstration for me on the phone? Sure. Okay. Uh -huh. Hello, this is Dana. I'm calling from Fisher Entertainment. Uh, I was wondering if you'd have a few minutes to talk with me about our product. You see, now that's not bad, but I've got to ask you, um, in doing this, in doing the uh, presentation, could you do it a little more breathy for me? Um, excuse me? Breathy? Yeah, can you, uh, something a little more like, good morning, teen whores, may I help you? I'm sorry? Wh what did you just say? Good morning, Dean Flores, may I help you? Very breathy. What what kind of company is this again? It well, it's, it's an entertainment company. A company we provide phone sex for uh, for lonely individuals. I'm sorry, but I am a person with morals. This is this is this is ridiculous. No, no, Dana. Dana uh, this this was forwarded to me by you. You you've got a great resume here. Can you say hi? This is uh, this is Dana. Thanks for calling Hot Horny Chicks. My God, you are a sick man i will pray for you <laughs> <laughs> did you hear her the first time hello good morning i'm looking for dana please 
Yes, I know who this is. Yes, uh, this is uh, John Forskin calling from no, Dripping no, no. Hole Division you guys of... guys are the radio guys, the Lamont and Tinelli, the radio guys. My sister-in-law heard this whole thing on the radio. This is disgusting. Well, your sister-in-law called you and told you you were on the radio? Yes, the entire Damn. filthy conversation. Oh, oh man, no, man. You, no, hey, you know what? We, we were called. Your husband said to give you a call this morning. Max said to give you a call. I'd, I'd be very surprised if my husband was involved in this. We, we talked to him personally. He said to give you a call. He said you'd think it was funny. Yeah, he's the one who got a hold of us and said... Do you think that talking about teen horrors is funny? This is absolutely disgusting and distasteful, and I wish you would stop calling me. D D Dana, your husband said to give you a call. It's Dirty Friday. You know what? I pray to the Lord that you will change your ways. This is disgusting. Uh -oh. I pray that you see the light and repent. Jesus can save you. Okay? I pray for your souls. All right, ma'am. She hung up. <laughs> I'm glad somebody can save us. <laughs> Well, that didn't go like we planned. No, not at all. <laughs> well, okay, you big mouth sister-in-law. What'd you call her up for? We're oh, having no, fun with her. Even her, her husband wanted to sting her, and the sister-in-law ruins it for us. Jesus us. can save us. <laughs> Giants could have used Jesus last night. Rob, Rob then blew a save. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs>